Hey everyone, I'm back with a new video and this video will include two things. So it's a two-in-one video. It will be how you can become a legend painter at the right moment. And also I got requested to how do you put the American flag on your car and actually make it look like this. Well, basically this is a perfect moment and you will see later on in the video why I upload the video today. Because let's have a look first at the design so first of all you have the the birdie truck that made me legend painter um now how do you do that the best thing you can do uh and it, this week will be very important if you want to try to get legend painter as you can see here this is like a big vanilla on the car here also a lot of stuff on the car, left sides, front bumper and the rear bumper. So basically what do you need to do is you load a vanilla group. So this is from our previous video, this flag. And as you can see here, I have vanilles that are already ready to put on cars. So let's have a look. I will design a flag on the car with stuff on it and I'll show you what car you need this week very important so what I always do is you know always uh, upload on Thursday festival playlist videos um, but a day or two days before I always look at the Forza Ton cars I always make them ready for the tune so you can see uh, in two weeks we need this Nissan and next week we need the 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor why is this video now because this is a perfect moment to do what i'm gonna show you here you see what we need to do so basically um we just need a fast ford raptor now let's go to the cars the auto show i already have the car so but you just buy the car it's very cheap then you go to the garage, um, if you want to tune, you can also make a tune and upload it instantly when the Fortaton starts. But then designs and paints. So first of all, I'm gonna paint the car. Well, that's the wrong car, give me a second. I'll go to the Ford, this one. So let's go, uh, the paint the car. What base color are we going to take? Well, basically you can take, for example, just black is a good color or you go to the special colors um, and take, for example, this one. I take a lot of this uh, color. There you can see uh, you can take whatever color you want, but I'm going to keep it on black for now. I will change it later. There you go, I'll keep this, I'll keep this, and I'll take the previous color also, and I'll make the windows black. There you go. So basically, this is the base color for the car. Let's save it to the current car for now. There you go. Now we're gonna apply vanilles and decals. Now you can also create a vanilla group. Uh, my vanilla groups are, well, this are, these are my vanilla groups. I am not a talented designer. Um, a few times I did a lot of hours on a car and basically had no downloads. You just need to be on the right moment and right time. So let's say I'll go for the American flag, load a vanilla group. I will take the American flag. This is the wrong side. I'll take this side. There you go. So let's make it very simple, a very simple design. I'll just resize it. Uh, what I did on the birdie truck was basically this. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And I'll keep it like this for example 
There you go, and then we can see what what color do we want on the front, like maybe this color. There you go. Then we have this. Okay. Now the stuff that I put on is like apply a normal vanilla from Forza itself. Let's say you want. Let's do something else. Uh, for example, this one I think I took. We will make it black. We will spin it. We will resize it. Like this. Now, this looks a little bit like a safari. But once again, it's very simple. Uh, you do not have to um, spend hours and hours and hours and hours if you want to get Legend uh, Painter. So let's say I stamp and then I'll just go over this one and this one and this one. So this is a little bit of the base of the car. Then we're going to apply a new vanilla. Once again, it's very simple. No hard stuff. Um, it's really not necessary to do that if you want to become Legend Painter. Then here, we just take this also in black. I'll resize it a little bit. And then just stamp, stamp. Mm, this looks a little bit too much, so we're going to delete some. Let's try again. Let's say we go like this here. That the car looks a little bit dirty. And this basically can... That's not necessary. So this is already a little difference in the American flag on the car. We just have one side at the moment. But if you go outside, save to rent to uh, current car. It just takes a while. One second, I'm gonna go away from here of the noise. I'll put my house on where I always am. There you go. And I always come here. Now, so this is just extremely basic stuff. Uh, the video of how to make an American flag. You can also look for how you make it. Now see, this is a car. It looks very standard, yeah. It looks maybe not, just not fancy enough for people to let it download. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add a little bit of shadows on it. Well, let's go to design and paints and then we're gonna apply a vanilla i'm gonna zoom out a little bit now we are actually outside so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little bit of shadow and that's basically this one now how do you want your shadow keep it white for this moment now it's basically up to you where do you want your shadow um if you like spin it, uh, it's very hard to actually get on the right number, so but it doesn't really matter. I'll make it, for example, you can actually do it like this. Size it. There you go. Now we're going to change the color to, uh, to black. And now we're going to stamp it. You see, this is already looking a little bit nicer. Now, what you can do is, you select these, you group them. You stamp them. And then spin them around. There you go. This is almost straight. And then we can do it like this. As you can see, the ends of the shadows are coming over each other. Now this one is not high enough. There you go. So make sure you do that right. Now this already looks way better uh, with the shadow on it. 
Now, like I said, I'm just going to keep it extremely simple. Um, I find this already good. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to do like uh, inside all from this side. Now, the problem is if you do this, it's not really 100% right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to group it. Yes. This I'm going to delete. And then... I'm going to insert everything from the other side. Now, as you can see here, this you can actually save to the layer group. Why? Because Thursday, you will need this car for the Fortiton. People have to use it. So if you upload the design on the right moment, a little bit in front of the Fortiton, it will come up. And if you're lucky, people will start downloading it. I'm not going to save it now because this is just an example. Now, what are we going to do here at the back? Well, I'm going to put the American flag. Now, as you can see, the stars are bigger here and here. So, it's very simple. We're going back to the right side. And we're going to ungroup. I'm going to copy this side, go to the rear bumper, paste it, and now I basically have also the same here. So let's have a look that it's here. I don't want the stars to go up there, so I'll just keep it like this. Just make sure your stars are a little bit decent and you don't see the stripes. For example, like this. Stars are the same size, everything is the same size. Now, as you can see, the shadow goes from the dark side, from the back and the front. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to add, for example, this one to the bumper. Paste. There you go. Very simple. Then, the right side. Copy. Paste. Now let's have a look where it is. This is the side. So let's go that it's basically almost the same. That is a nice um, going over. Now you see it is a little bit too big, too long. So I will go and make it disappear. I'm going to delete it. Why? Because you will see. So I'm going to apply a vanilla. The shadow one. I'll make it white. And now we're going to spin it. There you go. And we're going to move it. Now this is the end. As you can see, I need to resize it a little bit higher. There you go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. No, oh, you can't. That's not good. But that doesn't really matter. So I want to have it almost i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller like this that it's just over uh, the logo okay so this is fine i'm gonna make it black and i'm gonna stamp three times exactly the same times i did it on the right side then we're gonna copy the layers no excuse me uh, 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 word, just a second. This one, there you go. I'm gonna group it. I couldn't find it for some reason. Select it, stamp it, and then spin it. I am trying to make this video as short as possible. There you go. Now you see there needs to go on the top. There you go. Now as you can see the back of the car also looks cooler. The shadow goes over the back. It, um, it smooths. Now here we have the front bumper. What are we going to do with that? Because as you can see the stripes are there. So I do need the same size. And I took the right side as you can see. I will copy that front bumper and then we paste it and now we're gonna move it 
Now, as you can see, this is going to be a little bit harder, but since there is going to be stuff over it, there you have a little... Here, you see, this is white, this is red. But you won't notice very much from it. So let's say we're gonna put it like... Uh, let's see, it's not easy to see. For example, like this. Uh, the white goes still there. Or we can just do it like this and make the size a little bit bigger. Then the top is red. There you go. Now, once again, let's take the right sides, copy this, go back to the front bumper, paste it. Change the position. Maybe this one we will make more straight. Like this, for example, that it's, yeah, like we will just use it like this. You can't do much more on the car. See the front bumper, there you go. Okay, now the shadow again. There you go, make white, otherwise you won't see it. Spin it, move it like this. We need to resize it a little bit uh, let's say to the R there you go now let's go over black and then one two so now I have three times what I need once again we're gonna group it copy well you don't need to copy it you can just uh, stamp it now we're gonna change position spin it this is almost straight. There you go. And now move it. And now you see it's also here. So now you see the car. I'll zoom out on the car. There you go. Now this car already looks way different than it was before. Now what about the top of the car? Well that's basically whatever you decide. So let's have a look. Um, bum, bum, bum. I have here other stuff for the cars. I also have here stuff for the cars, as you can see. But let's just take the American flag back. Now, what are we going to do with this? I'm going to spin it. As you can see, the stars are here. This one does need to be straight. Um... And then I'm going to resize it. Or what you can also do is, that's always the easiest, just copy the same size you already have. I sometimes forget that and I spend more time than needed. So let's spin this one because my stars are at the back. I need 180, but with the gamepad it is extremely sensitive. So I'll just take my mouse, there you go, and move it. Now as you can see, what are we going to do with this? Well, basically we have two choices. You take this here, and then we have to look at the sides, where is the white. So this side needs to be right, although I see a little bit red, so we can do it like this and this. That looks nice, um, that the red is a little bit like that. No, uh, a little bit, yeah, see, with the gamepad it's really hard to be very precise. There you go, this is about the middle. Let's see if the sides are good. As you can see here, this is also fine. There you go. So this is very easy to do. Now, what you want to do here is, let's go back to, for example, this one. This one actually fits the car, so we're gonna just make it... 
a little bit different maybe a little bit longer no that doesn't look right it has to be it has to look a little bit decent so let's take it like the middle here what's the middle of the car like here for example and then we're gonna stamp it and make it like this there you go now on the other sides i didn't use this one you can actually use it i need to copy it or i'll just take it back there you go so you can actually do that uh, size it bigger make the car a little bit dirty i actually just forgot it there you go and now i'm gonna stamp it there you go and then let's copy it to the front bumper although this is not really needed because the front bumper bumper gets really dark now just make sure everything is in front of the shadows everything you do behind the shadows uh for example let's have a look now let's say i want to add another vanilla like this as you can see this doesn't have the shadow now so always make sure that you do your shadow at the end of uh, your design now we're back here um let's put it make it dirty there you go let's make it black we will size it and just put stuff on it doesn't really matter there you go now we have dirty a dirty american car well a little bit safari dirty car um so now the shadow there you go let's take it white now you this is where you need to look a little bit so the shadow goes from the back to the front um and here from the left to the right so what are you gonna do with the shadow now we're gonna resize it like this you see this is the most dark spot here i need to spin it we will move it size it color it and do it like this and there you go so this is basically a very easy simple design that you do not have to worry about for hours and hours and hours although i do have a lot of respect for that those talented people that spend hours on designs um, but i find it really sad that they don't always get legends for doing this so as you can see i'm gonna save it to the current car and i'm gonna show you design well basically you see the design already but i'll just get out there you go now the car looks way way cooler um let's look at picture view there you go it is not the most fancy or whatever design or spent hours and hours and hours on it but it can make you a legend painter it happened to me twice in forza horizon 3 and horizon 4 so this is basically what you can do now the trick and the tip what i can give you is have your vanilles ready especially when there are new cars coming out in the game i'll show you So 
So what you need to do is you need to have your vanilla groups ready. So what can you do? You select everything. Group it and save the layer. Then you will have it ready. Now what you need to do is you also need to look what car is coming. If you have a similar car that is coming out, for example, um, let's say the new car comes out. I'll have a look actually what we have um, this week. There was a new car. No, no, no. Oh, here, the GMC Typhoon. Now, this car, I think the car is a little bit similar to... Ooh, let's have a look. Uh, no, I didn't want this. I think it was the Dodge of the Durango. Yeah. You can make a vanilla group, for example, on the Durango. You can always <coughs> stretch it out or resize it or ungroup it and make it a little bit bigger. But look for a car that is very similar to the new car. Also, when you have the new car, instantly put the design on and share it. Also, share it on the auction and everything. It's very easy. Uh, that's the way I did it. I also completely spammed the auction. Now, I do not like what I see here on the car, on the top, so let's have a look quick. Let's go back to this. The top only has two, so I'm going to stamp it. And I do not like the front bumper here. Ah, uh, this is something you can't change. No, that doesn't matter. I'll save it to the current car. Now, if you like to have the car more shiny or chrome, I will show you what to do. Let's go to paint car. <coughs> there you go. This will actually add different colors to the car. Um, it is pretty cool. Here you can see what you can do uh, as base from it. But you can make it, for example, a shiny version. And the color will change a little bit from the car if you put it like, or for example, in black. There you go. And we will use this one. There you go. So now, now I have a shiny car. This is basically it. It is very easy to do. Um, just be on the right time. Um, make sure you have your vanils, vanilla groups ready. Uh, I really advise you to make a really cool design, especially from the American flag um, for the Thursday this week. It will, well, if you look at the video, like after the car is already done, it, it stays the same. It is my advice, uh, how to get legend painter. So I can actually share it. I'm not going to do it. I'm already legend painter and tuner. So I, I don't mind this, uh, to just keep it private. Well, that's basically it. It was on. I made the video on request and basically because the car is needed uh, for the Forzaton, it was the perfect timing uh, to have this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was not too long and uh, I hope if you want to get Legend Painter that this will actually help you or if you just like designing, I want to keep it simple that the tutorial helped you. Okay, thanks for watching, bye bye.